not even centered. All right. Buffalo Wings, today on Keto Culinary. All right, now that we have our wings, we're going to want to go ahead and blot off all the excess moisture we can off of the wings. And I mean off of each and every piece. We want them as dry as possible to ensure a more crispy final product. Now, if you're following the ketogenic diet, chances are you're a little bit more health conscious than your average person. So you're probably not looking to break out the deep fryer anytime soon. So what we're going to do is test out a technique brought to you by Kenji Lopez from over at SeriousEats.com. And what this technique entails is mixing one teaspoon of baking powder with equal amounts of salt per pound of chicken wings. So if you have three pounds of chicken wings, you're going to need three teaspoons of both baking powder and salt with the end goal of making a wing that is much more like a wing that came out of a fryer than out of the oven. And a little bit of a pro tip here guys, if you're going to shoot a YouTube video, you might want to iron your apron first. Regardless, go ahead and mix those two ingredients together and coat your wings. And don't do it like I'm doing it. Get a bowl that's actually big enough so you're not throwing wings all over the place because cross-contamination isn't really a good time for anybody. Go ahead and break out a baking sheet and a wire rack and go ahead and place the wings on the wire rack being sure to leave enough room for airflow between the wings. We're going to place them in the refrigerator overnight and uncovered. Doing that along with the baking powder and salt mixture that is on the wings should result in a much drier skin on the wings which when they come out of the oven should theoretically result in a much crispier wing. Alright guys, next day rolls around and we're going to go ahead and pop those wings into a 450 degree oven on the medium high rack. After about 20 minutes, go ahead and pull the wings out and flip each wing being sure to maintain an adequate space around the piece for proper airflow. And then go ahead and pop it back in the oven. In all honesty guys, buffalo wing sauce is ridiculously easy to make and a thousand times better than anything you're going to buy at the store. The only thing you need to do is combine equal parts Frank's Red Hot with butter. Stir on medium heat until combined. That's it. You're done. Now after that initial time that you flip the wings, you're going to want to go ahead and cook them for another 15 to 30 minutes until they're done. Towards the end, flip them a few more times to ensure a more consistent and overall crispy final product. Now once you pull them out of the oven, go ahead and transfer them to a large bowl and transfer the buffalo sauce into the bowl as well. Now guys, don't do like I'm doing here. The bowl I'm using to do this is absolutely wrong for the job. It's not the right shape nor the right size to flip wings in. It just happened to be what I had on hand at the time. But rest assured, using salad tongs to try to mix sauce in with wings is absolutely no way to live life. Now guys, it's time for the million dollar question. Was the extra prep time and extra carbs worth it? In my opinion, no. Now don't get me wrong, these wings did turn out great. But I've made plenty of batches of wings without using the extra baking powder, salt, and the day in the fridge. And in my opinion, the added results of doing those two things were negligible at best. You know, added carbs aren't really something you want to play around with on a ketogenic diet, and if you don't have to, I don't know why you would. But, I mean, it was a fun experiment. You know, we all learned something, and, you know, if you decide you wanted to go that route, be my guest. Let me know how it turns out in the comment section below. And that's pretty much it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please be sure to like the video and also subscribe to our channel. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, also on KetoCulinary.com. And we also have a Patreon if you'd like to help us out that way. We'll see you next time.